Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. I want to share with you a series of probably two to three weeks, you know, of sharing on passion and purpose in our devotion. And it's a joy to come back again. You know, I have not done recording for a while, but this will be interesting. All right, I'll share the first devotion is this. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. You know, in Ephesians chapter 12, verses 4 to 5, it says this, But because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Amen. You know, the Bible said that God saved us by the grace of God and because of His love for us. And then He says, you know what? Every day in our life with God is the grace of God and God has placed in every one of us, save us for a reason. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, it says this, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You heard that? Your kingdom come, your will be done as it is on earth as it is in heaven. It even tells you now, when God saved you and I, when God made you and I, when we got saved, God infused into every one of us a special purpose, a special gifting to fulfill the plan and the purpose of His on this earth, in the church of Jesus Christ. And you are very special, very important in this area. Amen? Amen. So therefore, are you excited, excited about your life or do you just feel you are merely existing? Drifting along and day by day or day to day without any sense of purpose or direction. A lot of people live their life on this earth without a sense of direction, without a sense of purpose. Through the years, I've met countless people who are living what I call a settle for life kind of mentality. They say, oh, I'm born in a family like that. I'm in this company like that. I'm in this church like that. I'm a person like that. So therefore, I just have to settle for it. But you know, God did not ask you to settle for just where we are. He has something better. He has a great plan for you and I. Don't settle for less. Somewhere, somehow along their journey, they became complacent and content in their circumstances. They settled for what they believe. One more time, they settled for what they believe was adequate and satisfactory in spite or in, instead of exerting their effort and work necessarily to living a life that's truly excellent, that's truly outstanding, that's truly what God wants them to be in their life. The truth is, it's easy, one more time, the truth is, it's easy to find ourselves subtle and complacent in life. I have enough. I'm glad where I am today. That's it. They don't want to have any more. And there are many reasons we can feel stuck, discouraged, and adrift in our lives. Lose our enthusiasm for life, for living, and for serving God, and for following Jesus, and for becoming who we are supposed to be and forfeit our hope, our sense of purpose and peace in life. In my opinion, you know, as a Christian, the foremost reasons are because many people have lost sight of who God made them to be. That's the main reason. Many of us, after following Jesus and living for Jesus so many years, we somehow lost our sense of knowing a lost sight of who God made you and me to be for more, not for less, for more. And as a result, countless people are not actively, intentionally, and purposefully pursuing what the Father, our Father in heaven has planned for them. If you truly, listen here, if you truly want to pursue your purpose that God has intended for you and to reach your potential that God has infused in you in life, then you must face up to two truths in life. Two truths in life. What are these truths? Truth number one. Listen, God has placed more within you than you realize. Truth number one is this, 
God has placed more within you than you realize. Sometimes we thought, you know, that's all I am, that's all I have, that's all I can do, that's all I can be. You know what? God has placed more in you than you realize. More you can do. Number two. Truth number two is this. You, you likely have settled for the life you are living now. You are so comfortable, so settled for where you are. Therefore, there is no desire, there is no uh, intention, there is no willingness, there is no craving to be more and to do more, to become better, to become more excellent from, than where you are today. You must remember, church brothers and sisters, you must remember that your Heavenly Father sees you through the eyes of love and forgiveness. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. He sees where you are, but He also sees the person He made you to be and can be in Him. God sees all the awesome potential and possibilities and giftedness and excellence He created you to fulfill. Remember this. If you are willing to discover and align yourself with His plan and purpose for your life, He will bless you more. He will expand you more. He will do greater things in you and through you than you could ever dream possible. Don't settle for the less, brothers and sisters. He will restore to you the joy, the peace, and the hope that you have lost and show you the path to the, to, to the accomplishment that he wants, he wants in your life, that He expects in your life, as He know, as he know you can be in your life. And He promises to bless you, bless you with life at its very, very best if you are willing to say, God, I am not content and satisfied with where I am today. I want to have more. I can be more. I can do more. I can grow more. I can mature more. I can be more like Christ and I can serve more and love more and give more. Amen? So therefore, God has placed you in this time and your current location to allow you to maximize your role in establishing His will on earth as it is in heaven. If you have never wondered, if you have, if you have ever wondered why you are on this earth, understand that God has placed you here as a unique person with a unique mission and with a unique purpose and with a unique potential that God has put it within you that lies within you to completely fulfill His purpose to be a blessing to people on this earth and to people next to you. Amen? Isn't it wonderful? You know, the question is, do you truly believe this? And more importantly, are you ready to get started with this understanding and put it into action that God wants you not to settle for less, but that greater things that's in store for you to achieve and to pursue. Amen? I welcome you in, on this journey with us to discover God's purpose and God's passion placed in your heart to fulfill His purpose. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray to your bless and strengthen every one of us. Help us to, be, to know your purpose for every one of our life that you have made us for more so that we should not settle for less. You have made us for excellence. You have made us to be achiever. You have made us to be one who will conquer the world for you. Infuse that passion in our hearts to, to pursue it and to do it so that we can shine more brighter for you. Let us be a blessing to people around us. Bless this day, bless our lives and our family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Don't settle for less. God has greater plan for you. Amen. God bless.